Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is I'm going to be trying out a whole bunch of ColourPop products that I recently purchased. Um, myself, I wish this was sponsored, that'd be amazing, but you know, life's life. So here I have them. Here's the box of everything. So here you can see, well, not really, because this thing is on top, but well, you can see one of the things I'm going to be trying out. Here are just a couple of items that I'm going to be trying. So basically I got, I ordered this a, like two weeks ago I think and it got here yesterday and I was going to film yesterday but since I didn't notice it was going to get here I didn't really like organize my time correctly so I'm not going to film. So I didn't end up filming this yesterday but I am filming it today. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I got. So I got the Zodiac and Kathleen Lights collection or the Color Pop and Kathleen Lights collection and Zodiac. I got the pigments um, because when she, when I wanted to purchase some stuff from ColourPop, she was recently, she recently said she was gonna take out this like collection. So I was like, I should wait a couple days for it to come out, and I did, and I got it. And then I got the BFF mascaras. I got all of them, I believe. I don't know if there's a blue. I mean a blue. I don't know if there's a brown, but I didn't get it. And I know, I, and I ordered all of them, so I don't know. But here they are. There is two, four, six, seven. And these are the colors. And I'm going to be trying out black on top and a colorful one on the bottom just so that, you know, we're not looking too crazy. So I'm going to do a colorful liner. And then I got the Through My Eyes palette. This is the... I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's this collaboration with ColourPop, and I just really, really like the colors that were in this palette, so I got that. And then I got the Crush On You ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter Palette, and I got a liquid lipstick, ultra lippy gloss, and another ultra lippy gloss. I got the shade Bestie, Cabana Boy, and Aquarius Gloss. Since I'm a really glossy girl, that's why I kind of got that. And then I got this liquid lipstick in Cor Corvi. And this is, yeah. And this is from that other collection, I believe, from the eyes. And then I got these two cream gel liners. One is in the shade Fast Lane, and the other one is in Zulu. And then I got these gel cream gel contour liners I believe this is an exit crybaby best zero and nut which is with another collaborator and that's the name of it if it'll focus I don't know if you guys can see but that's the collaboration that was done and then I saw these really cool things. I didn't really know what they were for, but I just really liked them, so I got them. Oh, body glitter. So this is a ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter, and I thought they'd just be cool for like more creative makeup looks. So I got in the shade Adventure of Avenue of the Stars and Wish Me Luck. And I think I got another one. Yeah. And this is with a Bretman Rock and ColourPop, and this is Oh My God, I'm Wet. I love that name. And then the last thing I got were the Toss and Turn Mini Lippy Stick Collection. I just really thought it was like a nice price point and these are my kind of colors so I thought it'd be like a nice way to try these colors out. I feel like I might have some of these now that I think about it. Yeah, I think I have one. But that's okay. Uh, it's one that I really like so and then they sent me these two as a gift So I am going to be trying out this brush and I am going to be trying out this setting spray So this is the all-star matte blur face setting spray. Do you see all the brushes moving because of my hand? Okay, it's kind of scary, but yeah, so they gave me these two as a gift and I will also try these out So as you can see that is what is in the box. I'm just gonna put it right next to me just to get rid of all the Packaging, but uh, as you can see I have my brows done and I use the Kat Von D um What's, uh, oh, I saved it, yes. This is the Kat Von D Signature Brow um, Pencil in dark brown. And I actually really, really like this, and it is a lot cheaper than the Anastasia, and I think I'm gonna like it better. I don't know, I just really enjoy it. And the lady said that more product comes in this, and it's like a harder, like, I guess product so like if you I drop things a lot so when I drop my Anastasia one and like the tip is out like it will crack and this one from what I've seen it hasn't happened so yeah I'm actually really excited to save some some money so that's good 
and I really like the color of it and on pictures it looks really good because like for some reason when I use my Anastasia in pictures there's always this like gap right here or on this brow I don't know and it's like and there's like no products but I know I put products in there but it's like not there and then when I use that one it like didn't happen so I don't know what's going on but um, yeah I'm happy I found a new brow product that's cheaper and I'm excited about that so I have that on and I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer on my lids as primer so um, I'm just gonna start opening up the palette the eyeshadow palette and the gel liners because the liners that I bought are colorful because I kind of did this purchase just to have some alternatives, like cheaper alternatives, because it's hard to find colorful liners, like oranges and yellows and stuff like that. Um, so I kind of wanted to buy this, and since they just launched the mascaras, I wanted to buy that so that I can do more colorful things um, on my channel and like more creative. So that's kind of why I decided to do this purchase. But, oh, that's such pretty packaging. It looks so luxury. Yeah, so I remember why I got this because these colors are amazing. They're calling my name so much. Like these two right here are beautiful. This is like really nice. Like it's hard. I feel like this is the best packaging I've seen from ColourPop. It might be like the same as their other ones, but it just looks like nicer. So the one from this collection looks like that. It's super pretty. And then the other one... So this is Exit and it's just a white one. I got this white one just in case my next one ran out. Um, and also kind of to use as body paint for body paint stuff. Um, and then I got this one which is Best Zero or Best O. I believe it's Best Zero because it looks like a zero. But okay, and this one is like a dark brown I believe. Like a dark purple brown. I thought I got more fun colors. <laughs> Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, here's a cool one. Just got my nails done and I feel like I'm going to ruin them opening all this. Oh, okay, this one's nice. This one is in the shade Crybaby and it's just a light lilac purple kind of. Then I got two gel liners, or like the cream, the one in the pencils. This is in the shade Zulu and it's like a turquoise. And then... Did I get a yellow one? I guess not. I thought I did. And this one is like a dark green and it's in the shade Fast Lane. So yeah. I'm just going to check my order and make sure I got everything now that I think about it. Just to make sure I don't miss anything. Because they said that it was going to come in two packages and I did get two packages. But I don't know if it was going to come like separately or, or what. But I'm just going to make sure that I got everything. Here it is. Okay, yes. Uh, no, I forgot. Yeah, I knew it. They didn't send me two things that I ordered. I knew I got a yellow one. So I ordered a yellow liner and an orange liner. The orange one is called Puppy and the yellow is called Punch. And it didn't get to me. So I'm going to have to send them a little message and see what they can do. But yeah, okay. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Unless it's going to come in another package, but I'm only missing two things, so I don't understand. Anyway, I really wanted those colors. Those colors are so hard to find. Uh, okay, anyway. Now, I am just going to go ahead and start with my eyes. So, I think I'm going to use this, turqu this turquoise, this purple shade as my liner, or the turquoise one, or this, like, dark green. Ooh, I like that. I don't know if it'll focus, but it, they're so nice and creamy. I don't know, it depends like the colors that I'm going to be going for. Okay, so first I'm going to be taking, oh, I don't know how to say that, Euphoric, Euphoric, I got it. So I'm going to first take Euphoric and I'm going to put this on my crease using the My Kiko brush. This is my favorite crease brush ever. If you guys have watched my channel before, you know this, this is a brush I always use. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little, and here we go. I'm just going to put this on my crease and see how they work and how they blend and everything. I have used ColourPop shadows before, so I know they're good. Um, so, yeah. But this color is nice. This is a nice color. Like, it's super pigmented and it blends out so nice. I thought it was going to be a little bit patchy at the beginning, but no. 
I think I want to do like a halo eye and put like this one in the middle because it's so pretty. Like a halo cut crease eye. I'm getting really complicated, but that's okay. Okay, so that's looking good. I like that a lot. Uh, I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. And I want to go in with this Face Secrets E8 brush, which is just kind of fluffy and flat. It's a little dirty, but hopefully it won't affect my makeup look. And I'm just going to go in with Misbehave, which is this like pink shade right here. And put that underneath that orange shade. Still in the crease, but not working it up as high. Just in case you guys are wondering, there is a bit of fallout on these shadows. Um... But I think that's kind of how all their palettes are. To me, personally, it doesn't really bother me if there's fallout on any eyeshadows and palettes or things like that. But I know some people don't enjoy it. I really want to incorporate Moody. But I'm trying to think of how or if I should just do it with the liner. Because they're really similar. Which is what I think I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put the Vina, which is this one right here, just like this dark purple. And I'm going to put that on the inner and outer corner of my eyes just to start with the halo effect. And I'm just going to take like a small skinny flat brush. Um, so this one is from Elip, which is my school. So they just gave these for free. Well, not for free. They come with the inscription of the school and everything. But it's just like a nice tiny brush. I believe it's like a lip brush. So you can use like any lip brush that you might have. And I'm just going to pack this on the outer and inner corner of my eyes and see how this goes. Okay, so here you can kind of see what it's looking like. And I just kind of want to show you guys up close. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of fallout right here. But nothing major that's about anything that's fallen, like, from the shadow. Um, and usually I do get a pretty good amount of fallout when I do um, makeup looks. I don't know why, but I just kind of do. Um, so that's actually a pretty good on my part. And now that we have that, I'm just going to take a nice look blender brush. And this is from Do Color. And I'm just going to blend it out like that. And, I'm, and it has no product. I'm just using this to blend out a little bit like that. And then I'm just going to take the Pro Conceal HD High Define Concealer by LA Girl. Put some on the back of my hand and cut the center part of my crease. And I'm just going to take a really nice flat brush so that I don't mess this up. Because <laughs> if I do, it's going to be really annoying. Uh -huh, that's weird. Okay. So I'm just going to take this My Kiko um, Eye Expert Define brush. This is an E.4. And I just kind of want to point something out of this brush that I feel like is really weird. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell. But if you look on this side, you can kind of see that the bristles aren't like hitting the metal part. I feel like there's like bristles missing. And if you look inside of it, I don't know if I'll focus, but like focusing on my hand. Anyway, there's just like glue or something there. I don't know. I feel like for the price that I paid, like that just shouldn't happen. But what can you do? Nothing, right? So I'm just going to take this, there we go, and then I'm going to take the brush that they sent me, which is the E3 as a gift, and I'm just going to take the, the shade right here, which is called Muse, and I'm going to put that right on the center. I'm not going to apply any Fix Plus just to see how it works without Fix Plus, but I probably will end up putting it on top. Okay, so it's kind of pigmented. I feel like... It's not that pigmented, but I feel like they could have, I don't know, I feel like they could, hmm. I don't, I'm going to use Fixelus Plus just because I do want it to be a little bit more pigmented than what it is. So I'm just going to wet it, my brush with some Fix Plus, put it on top. Okay, and that's what we are looking like. And now I'm just going to take this Morphe S20 brush, take that Diva shade again, which is the purple shade, and just kind of blend out the outer edges so that it's not so harsh. So that's what it's looking like so far. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. And now I'm just going to take the shade 
Lucido, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to pop this right in the center with my finger. And that's kind of how it looks like. It's like gold, light gold. It's just going to give a little bit more light. Now that we are done with that part of the eye, I am just going to go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Fast Lane, which is the dark brown, or dark brown, the dark green. I feel like it's going to look really cool. And I'm just going to line my lash line. So right off the bat, I can tell these are super, super pigmented, um, which is really nice. Okay, so there we got that wing looking nice and sharp. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye. But honestly, I thought it was going to be difficult to do a wing with this. But it was really, really easy just because of the fact that it was so pigmented. And it really, like, glided on nicely. So, honestly, I feel like these are one of my favorite liners that I've ever tried in the world. And there is a little test for you guys. The tip didn't break when it fell, so that's good. Um, I just do want to see how they uh, feel on the waterline, like how they look and how and how they wear as well. Okay, so I actually really enjoyed the brush and the liner and everything that I've tried out so far. I really have nothing negative to, to say, um, honestly. So, I mean, the only, I guess, negative thing would be the, I guess, a little bit of fallout on the palette. But for me, that's not really like a, anything that bothers me. Um, and the fact that they didn't send me two gel liners, which I don't know. I do have to send a message, like I said, on that. But yeah, so now we're just going to move on to the mascara. And like I said, I want to first use black. So I'm going to open up the black one and let's see how. Um, I did see a video on this, on the Kathleen video, because I didn't really plan on filming this. And she said they were really good. Um, they were really similar to the Better Than Sex one. So that kind of gets me excited because I love the Better Than Sex mascara. But that is what the wand looks like. So you can kind of tell that it is pretty similar. So I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes and now I'm just going to apply it and see what I think. I feel like straight off the bat it is a mascara that you do have to build up. But the good thing about it is that not a lot of product comes out so it's like easier to control if that makes sense. But you do have to build it up if you do want your lashes to be really thick, which is what I kind of like, so. Um, and right now I do have the permanent like lash curl thing, so, I mean, I do have to play more around it when I don't have that and let you guys know what I do think. Alright, but yeah, so I did the first coat and I will be back to do, I'm just going to do a second coat and then I'll be right back. Hey guys, so as you can see, I did a little bit more than just my mascara. I just added my foundation, blush, bronzer. I baked underneath my, right here, a little bit on my nose, uh, just to kind of get this out of the way, just because I didn't order anything that had those products so that it, this would, video wouldn't be too long. I used a NARS foundation. The blush I used was from Milani, the bronzer as well, and uh, the setting powder I used for, was from Fenty, and the one to bake was from RCMA. Um, and yeah, so if you guys want more detailed descriptions, just leave a comment and I'll let you know exactly which one I used. Um, but yeah, and now I'm just going to go on to my lower lash line. So just in case there is any fallout, I'm just going to grab a little bit more RCMA and just put a little bit right here just so that if um, any fallout does get on, I just can just hopefully swipe it away with this baking underneath. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that ColourPop uh, Fast Lane shade again, which is the Army Green. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit. And I'm just going to put this on my waterline. Oh, that's really pigmented for the little amount I put on. Alright, so now that we have that on the waterline, I really actually liked it. Um, I didn't really want to tug on my eye just so that I didn't mess this up. So honestly, I didn't put that much on, but it looks like I put a lot on, so that's good. And I'm just going to take that dark green shade, which is Moody, right here, and I'm just going to put this really, really close to my lash line with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration in JH43, and I'm just going to stamp this really close to my waterline, or my lash line. All right, so now that we have that down, I am just going to take a, a pencil brush, this is from Face Secrets, and it doesn't have a name, it just came in a set. And I'm going to take, oh, nice, okay. 
I'm just gonna take the two, the, the orange and pink shade I used just to blend out the green. Okay, and now that we have the lower lash line done, I'm just going to dust that away underneath as well. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just kind of blend it all out. All right, and now for highlights, I am going to use the Crush On You palette and my Anastasia A23 brush. Now this highlight looks so nice online. Yeah, that's super pretty. So you have a pink, a white, a kind of gold, and like a champagne gold. So these are kind of like all my colors. So I'm gonna take Class Act which is the champagne gold, and I'm gonna apply that. Hmm. Is this like, oh, it's a cream. Okay, that's why it wasn't really working. So I'm gonna take a different brush, actually. I'm gonna take this tart brush and see if that picks it up a little bit better. Yeah, okay. So it's a subtle highlight, but it's still super pretty. So if you want more of a subtle highlight, I do recommend this palette. And you can also put on top another highlight because it is cream, which I didn't know. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of Tonkin Code, which is the white one. Alright, so there- oh, don't mind this, guys. This is like the little thing I had um, that they took off. And I have a cream on top and I forgot to take it off, so that's kind of what it looks like that. Like dry, but um, it's not the foundation, it's just this little, or like any dry patch, it's just something I have on top. So, now that we have that, I am going to go with the, what's it called, the Zodiac Loose Pigment. I kind of forgot about them just a little bit. Um, so, I am going to use them on my inner corner and on top of the... Uh, lid like the to give a little bit more of a pop um, And there is a perfect color in here for it. So That's good. kind of want to leave it in this packaging because they're so pretty So I am going to show you guys just like the colors quickly Maiden, which is that white, and I am just going to. They say the way you can apply this is wet or with some glitter glue. The best way I saw that she applied this was wet, so I am going to take some Fix Plus and this Sigma Concealer F70 brush, wet it, take it. So here you can kind of see what it looks like. I really hope this doesn't fall. Don't focus on me. So that's kind of what it looks like. And I'm just going to take some on the center of my lid, like so. And you can kind of see like a little pop it gives. It's super pretty. It's really nice and pigmented. Something I will say though is they are kind of chunky. So like as you can kind of see, I'm putting it like on the back of my hand first. But they are a bit chunky. I don't know why. It's weird. All right, but they are really pretty. I kind of want to play with them more just because I didn't really give them like a fair shot because I am putting it on top of, what's it called? On top of shadow. And I'm just going to put this in my inner corner as well. But as you can see on the inner corner, it looks so pretty. Okay, so now for the final step, which is lips, I'm just going to take the Toss and Turn Mini Lippy Stick Collection and I am going to take, I'm just going to take this one, which is Cookie. 
right so that is actually super duper pretty they're super smooth and super pigmented i really recommend this little trio if you really do enjoy nudes um but yeah i like that okay and now i am just going to take a gloss on top and the gloss that i'm going to take is the curvy gloss which is this collaboration right there i'm gonna apply it I do have to say though, it kind of is streaky. I don't know if it's because of the applicator or or what. Ah, fuck. But it is a bit streaky. Um, and also something I noticed when I applied it, um, the applicator kind of is like really, really hard and then it kind of takes time to get like softer, which is kind of weird, but you know, it, it's still it's still a nice, nice little um, gloss. I really did enjoy the glosses. It's not it's not super sticky. It's actually really comfortable. I don't mind the stickiness on glosses. I feel I like it. It does, doesn't really bother me. I don't know if that's just me or what, but um, I just, I don't find them super uncomfortable unless it's like super noticeable, you know, but I'm never going to get this foundation off great. But yeah, um, so this is the final look. The last step is just to apply the setting spray they sent me. Um, and this is the All Stay Matte Blur Face Setting Spray. So I'm just going to check the mist on the back of my hand. Just because it always comes out blotchy when you open it. It's a little bit blotchy. But um, as more as I spray it, it gets like less blotchy. So The scent is kind of weird. It's like good, but then like the after scent is like not. <laughs> But it is a bit like the settings, like this mist is a little bit blotchy. It's not like super even. So I guess that's kind of like the downfall of it. But um, yeah, guys, those are all the products that I tried out. The only things, oh wait, just kidding. I have to do my lower lash mascara. <laughs> um, so let's see the colorful one that I want to use. Pink, blue. I want to go with the blue one. So this is the Blue Your Mind. And that's cute. I'm just going to put this on my lower lashes. Oh, okay. So you can see it is there. Like, it is there. It's, like, not that pigmented. I don't know why. Maybe I need to take a little bit more. There we go. All right, guys. So this is a completed look, trying out all the products. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely did enjoy making it. Um... I'm really excited to keep playing with these products and keep, if you guys want me to keep updating you guys, just let me know in the comments as well as to kind of like what I think was worth it, maybe what I would have passed on, things like that. I feel like the only thing I would have passed on would have been the palette, uh, the highlighter palette, just because it was the cream formula and I really prefer powder formula. But other than that, I feel like that's it. And also the other like negative thing I have is that I didn't get the two colors I ordered which um, were the ones that I wanted to get the most just because they're harder to find. But um, yeah, I'm gonna check and see if they, like if I just like, if it's gonna come in another package or if they're just gonna give me my money back. But um, yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you're aware of when I upload a video. I'm gonna try to upload every Thursday. I will be uploading every week, but I wanna make sure it's every Thursday. Um, just so that I can kind of keep that schedule and that like rhythm, you know, but yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one, hopefully, and don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Bye. God damn it. Blender, blend blush, blend blush. Damn it. No, it's not gonna come off great. Fuck my life. They're so nice. Oh, damn it. Okay, so the ultra lipstick or the, the liquid lipstick is going to. Ugh.